What's happening, Final Community? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you guys are when you're watching this. And again, it's Halloween, so happy Halloween. This video is to showcase some acquisitions I've made over the last couple months and some absolute grails at the end. So a couple of them you've already seen, but they deserve to be in this video as well. And I can't wait to share with you guys the next one that's coming. But let's get started. The first one here is actually a newer release, which I stumbled on because his name is one that's been put out there a lot, and everybody, uh, the, a lot of friends in the jazz community and music community have told me, listen to this guy, I think you'll really enjoy him. So I did, really enjoyed his uh, work, so I picked it up. So this is Delvin Lamar, Oregon Trio, I told you so. Very funky album, very organ based, but definitely draws inspiration from the jazz releases and soul releases from the uh, mid 60s to the early 70s. It's a great album. It's a kind of one that's hard to keep in stock. Um, every time I've come across this, it's always been sold out. So I actually got this one through Amazon because they only had a couple left. So I picked this one up and <coughs> excuse me, put this on a platter yesterday and I'm blown away. Uh, Really awesome release. Highly recommend it if you can find this one. Or even if you can't find a physical copy, definitely stream it. It's worth listening to. and It's an awesome album, so highly recommend it. The next one's actually a one that I've owned before, but not this pressing. So, recently I let go of my, cop, my first stereo pressing of, or actually it was the first mono pressing, of uh, Bill Evans and Jim Hall's Undercurrent because I found another pressing that was slightly cheaper, but I'm a sucker for cover art, so the original went to a good home, and it was it had that it had some fraying on the bottom, so it wasn't perfect. Got this through a uh, dealer out of Florida. Again, Bill Evans and Jim Hall undercurrent. This is actually an Australian pressing, first Australian pressing. Reasonably clean. Uh, side two has some little bit of uh, scratching at the very beginning of track one, but for the most part, the sucker plays clean. Um, and at the price I got it at, it was worth grabbing. And that I love the jacket, especially. Um, the original U.S. pressing does not have this on the outside; it actually has it on the back. So. For me, it was kind of a cool one to pick up, and I could still have the album. The only thing I don't like about the import releases is the flimsy jacket that they come in. But still really cool, and I'm still glad to have it in my collection. Now we're going to get on to a bit of an impulse train. This next one is actually one that I've wanted for a little while, but it's been kind of low on the list for me to focus on some of the grails. But I'm, I picked up a really nice copy, and so I can scratch this one off the list. This is Oliver Nelson, More Blues in the Abstract Truth. This is Stereo Copy A75. That beautiful orange and black label. Of course, with any impulse release, you know what I got to do. Take the inner out first. Show that gatefold. And apart from uh, the original owner writing his or her name inside, it's actually pretty dang clean. It's got a little bit of the beginning of a split seam split on the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that, but it presents really nice. And the vinyl itself, it was sold as a VG Plus with some marks. And yeah, it's got a few paper scuffs, but this sucker plays clean. And I'm really, really happy to get this. Um, the first release of a similar title, Blues in the Abstract Truth, has actually become one that a lot of collectors have tried to uh, peg down. And as a result, prices have gone up. But I think this one's kind of a sleeper by comparison. And I don't know why, because it's solid. Um, I'm a huge fan of Oliver Nelson's work. I own quite a few albums from him, and I do hope to eventually get Blues in the Abstract Truth, um, even if I have to settle on one of the recent reissues, but 
for me, it's a must-have, and so is this one. And you can pick this one up for a fairly reasonable price. Um, I paid around 40 bucks for this guy. And honestly, for me, it was money well spent. Again, it's a great album, and I highly recommend it. Reissue or original, whatever you can get your hands on, definitely pick this one up. This next one's actually been getting a lot of um, spotlight and a lot of attention recently. I have not actually popped the plastic on this yet, but I intend to do that possibly later today. If you follow my channel, you know one of my favorite albums, at least in my top three, is John Coltrane's Love Supreme. So when I found out that there was a newly discovered recording of a live concert that he did where he he played the album it's only been played i believe three times live uh one was france um i think i believe there was another um i'm not sure exactly what the second one was and then there was this one this is a uh, love supreme live in seattle I love, the thing I love about these recent Impulse uh, slash Verve releases is they're, they're going out of their way to really make the uh, collector happy and the music lover happy. And that's something I've noticed and I'm very happy they're doing that. The material on this particular release really doesn't have to be explained. Um, I mean, you follow if you follow my channel, you know how much I'm in love with... Uh, the original album but it's a very spiritual it's very spiritual it's it's on many 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 people's top 100 list and for very good reason so to hear this live for the first time is going to be very interesting so i'm definitely looking forward to popping the plastic on this let's see here all right now we've got uh now we've got some grails coming actually you know what let's move this guy over there we go if you saw my last video uh i am uh i showcased a art blakey album that i recently picked up so but again recent acquisitions i felt these needed to be included this first one was actually a gift that uh, was included with the grail that i picked up but it's art blakey and the jazz messengers 70 it's on Catalyst International from, from Japan. It actually appears to be a first press, but I've actually not listened to this one yet, so I'm very curious how this one sounds, but it's a, it's an Art Blakey release. It can't be bad. And then the next one is, again, is the Grail. That was part of that, part of that uh, purchase. This is a Blue Note 4193, again, Art Blake and the Jazz Messengers, Indestructible. It's the first mono pressing, Van Gelder stamp, the whole ball of wax. It's a beautiful copy, written very little wrong with it. It's got a little bit of a surface, like paper scuffing, but that's about it. Sucker plays beautifully. I, uh, being a graphic designer um, in my previous career, I'm a sucker for graphics like this. I love that. I love that's the thing about one of the first things that drew, drove me to Blue Note, even before I, I listened to a note of any of the releases, was the visual imagery that they use. And that's an awesome album cover. This, this waveness kind of reminds me of the opening to Thunderball, uh, the James Bond movie with Sean Connery. But again, really, really awesome release. And this one's still in print as a reissue. Um, so if you can't, afford an original definitely pick up a reissue i believe blue note is running a sale right now um i don't know if it's ended i know it was going about a week ago but definitely pick this one up don't sleep on it highly 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 recommended it. it's gonna it's becoming very quickly one of my favorite albums in my collection This next one has already been featured at least once already in an unboxing video, but it deserves another peek. This is A9160, Elvin Jones and Richard Davis Heavy Sounds.
on that red and black impulse ABC label. Beautiful copy. Excellent condition. Again. Back. Of course, like I said, for with any impulse release, got to show that gatefold. This one I don't think was open very much because even now you can hear that little bit of that crackle when you open it up. But picked this one up on eBay through a seller that I had worked with a few times before. Always left me happy. And once again, he didn't disappoint. So this one has already been played a couple times. It's been at the very top of my list for grails for quite some time and this past week I was able to make it happen so I don't think this one's been released very much as a reissue but so it's it's kind of a harder one to find but you can still stream this on YouTube and a few other places um, I know it's available on compact disc but if you can find this one Either, either as an original or a repress, definitely pick it up. As far as Impulse's catalog and jazz in general, it's definitely a must-have. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And, again, I'm a sucker for that. For, just like with Blue Notes, I'm a sucker for Impulse covers. They do an awesome job. And they were the ones that perfected the whole Gatefold thing. And the whole Gatefold design is part of their album releases, which a lot of people followed. But, again, if you can find this one, highly recommend it. And the last one, you know, not really last but not least, but with any of my videos, it's kind of luck of the draw. This one got featured in an earlier video as well, but I don't feel like it got the attention it really needed from me. This is a Impulse 9154. This is Archie Shep, The Magic of Juju. Original stereo pressing, again, that ABC red and black label. This sucker is clean as clean can be. To quote a mutual friend, you could eat off this damn thing. Beautiful example. Um, this is later in the ABC catalog, so this is after, I believe, Van, I don't believe Van Gilder was still here at this point. I could be wrong. Uh, if you want to comment below, you can let me know. But this, this release was not did not have Van Gilder's touch to it. But it still sounds awesome. Again, look at the gloss on that cover. Beautiful example. No seam splits. None of that stuff. It's got a little bit of a lamination bubble here, but that's it. Of course, got to show that gatefold. It's a beautiful example of this album. This is another one that's kind of hard to come by, um, and if you're a free jazz, if you're not into free jazz, um, I wouldn't actively go out looking for this one. But you can again, you can at least stream it on YouTube, and it's still available on a lot of places online for you to listen to. Again, I don't think it's been reissued very often, and. The first thing that attracted me to this album was, of course, the cover art. But, ironically enough, it actually reminded me of the whole, if you, the, uh, the first uh, Moore Bond movie, Live and Let Die, with uh, Baron Samity. But, I looked this one up on YouTube about a month or two ago and gave it a listen. Again, it's spirit, it's free jazz, but what I loved about it is it showcased Archie Shep's. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, his expertise on his instrument. And if you're looking for something that's uh, traditional hard bop, this is not going to be it. But definitely don't sleep on it. I would at least give, uh, recommend you to give it a listen and see what you think. But it's one of those that was highly anticipated when I got it. And I put it on, was not disappointed in the quality. And it's now got a new home in my impulse part of my collection. But 
that's it guys for now like i said if you uh follow my channel here in about a week or so i've got another unboxing for you guys coming and i i definitely highly recommend you tune into that one because it's going to be an interesting one for sure that's going to be the first time this album is going to be unboxed since it well unboxed and unwrapped since the first time it left the factory and it's one i don't know if you guys are going to recognize but i'll throw you a little backstory about the album as i do the unboxing but if you guys like what you saw please click like and subscribe again as always it's been a pleasure talking with you guys hope you enjoyed what you saw and we'll talk again soon